Western Australia is one of the oldest lands in the world. It's also one of the most mineral enriched places in Australia, with valuable deposits of many different commodities including banded iron formations, gold and other precious metals and gems. It's famous for having large gold nuggets at surface level, and many people make a living detecting for gold in the gold fields in the eastern part of the landmass. The gold fields are located within the Yilgarn Craton's greenstone belts, composed of ancient volcanic and sedimentary rocks. A greenstone belt is a geologically significant zone composed of ancient volcanic and sedimentary rocks that have undergone metamorphism. These belts are typically found in the Archean and Proterozoic terrains and are some of the oldest parts of the Earth's crust. They are named greenstone because of the greenish hue imparted by minerals, which form during the metamorphic processes. Greenstone belts are globally significant for their rich mineral deposits, particularly gold. During tectonic activity, the greenstone belts often undergo significant deformation, which creates fractures and faults. These structures serve as conduits for hydrothermal fluids, which are hot, mineral-rich waters that move through the Earth's crust. The metamorphic processes within greenstone belts often lead to the concentration of gold in certain minerals. The Kalgoorlie goldfields are an excellent example of gold deposition in a greenstone belt. What's amazing is that the Kalgoorlie goldfields were once part of an ancient mountain range. This mountain range was formed during the Archean Eon, approximately 2.6 to 2.8 billion years ago, through a series of geological processes that included tectonic activity, volcanic eruptions, and a collision and accretion of various crustal blocks. This ancient mountain range has been highly eroded and through the process of erosion over billions of years, gold was deposited on mass all around the area. This helped to concentrate gold in alluvial deposits, which were easier for early prospectors to discover and mine. The Yilgarn Craton, which includes the Kalgoorlie region, experienced significant tectonic activity during the Archean Eon. The tectonic processes including subduction, collision and accretion of various terrains led to orogeny, which is the process of mountain building. These processes created significant uplift and deformation, forming an ancient mountain range in what is now the Eastern Goldfields region of Western Australia. The rocks in the Kalgoorlie region were subjected to intense heat and pressure during these tectonic events, leading to metamorphism and deformation. This metamorphic activity contributed to the development of extensive fault and shear zones, which later played a crucial role in gold mineralization. As a side note, if you enjoy this video, consider liking it to help YouTube promote it to other viewers. If you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to be notified of every time we upload. We also have a Patreon for anyone who has the means to support the channel. The link to this will be in the description and in the pinned comment down below. If we look at the geological maps, we can see that the entire area is primarily composed of very ancient volcanics. From mafic to falsic eruptions, the volcanoes that released these layers of rock were both highly explosive and effusive at times, and sometimes they were intrusive, meaning the magma cooled in the earth before erupting, and these have also been exposed to the surface through the marked erosion that has occurred here. We also have occurrences of ultramafic rocks. Ultramafic rocks are relatively rare compared to other rock types due to their deep mantle origin and the specific tectonic processes required to bring them to the surface. They are igneous rocks with very high magnesium and iron content and very low silica content. They are the primary constituents of the Earth's mantle, however because the mantle is deep beneath the Earth's crust, these rocks are not commonly found at the surface. If we expose the fault lines here, we can see just how fractured the Earth is here. These fault lines served as valuable pathways for gold-laden metamorphic fluids to travel through and become emplaced when pressures dropped as it rose to a certain depth within the Earth when the fluids solidified into gold-bearing quartz. On magnetics, we can see the clear indication of ancient greenstone belts. Parts of the greenstone belts in the Yilgarn Craton likely originated in volcanic arc settings, where oceanic crust was subducted beneath continental or other oceanic crust, generating volcanic activity. But the greenstone belts also contain sedimentary rocks like shales and sandstones, which were deposited in basins adjacent to the volcanic arcs. The greenstone belts have experienced multiple tectonic events, including rifting, which is a splitting apart of the land, and accretion, which is the coming together of crustal blocks. These rocks have undergone low to medium grade metamorphism, altering their original mineralogy and textures. 
Studies of the chemical composition of the volcanic rocks in the greenstone belts show similarities to modern volcanic arc rocks, indicating a subduction related origin for some of the volcanic sequences. The structural geology of the greenstone belts, including fold and fault patterns, supports the idea that they were influenced by tectonic processes similar to those in modern volcanic arcs. The greenstone belts here have a polyphase history, meaning they have been affected by multiple geological events over a long period, making their history more complex than a simple volcanic arc. So we have extremely ancient processes and erosion over billions of years to thank for the extreme riches that are being extracted from the Kalgoorlie area. Massive open pit mines exist, and there are many small scale prospectors that are also cashing in on the gold present all around the area. I hope you found this topic as interesting as I do, and as always, thanks for watching.